Hi there guys and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial. Now in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this nice 3D light scene intro like the one you just saw before this and as you can see demonstrated here. We obviously have our nice text in the front here with our drop shadow and our two lights at the side of our nice texture behind it and we do have the animation you know going from right to left so it's pretty good. Um, now um, um, one thing that I'm going to get clear of you is you're not uh, and I can't give you this texture behind it is copyrighted if you do want these go to videocopilot.net and check out their evolution set it is definitely a good buy you get so much decent stuff inside there including flourishes and textures so definitely check it out now um, if you do want to ha get a different texture you can google some just google some um, textures um, or you can go to brusheasy.com um, link will be in the description. You can get textures from there. That's normally where you get your brushes from Photoshop, but they do do some textures. So I'll put that there. Um, you might not be able to find one like this, but you might not even want to use this type of texture. So it's up to you. There are some smart ones on there. Now, if you do want, it, if you do have Evolution by Video Copilot, you can um, use texture number 22 from the grayscale. This is what I'm using. Okay. So as you can see, this scene is just made up of five things. As you can see here, we have the camera, the two lights, and the text and the texture. Now all we have to do is go to layer, I'm sorry, composition, new composition. Alright, this will get us started. And my duration I'm going to make 10 seconds long, that's fine. Okay. Now um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the texture and I'm going to drag it on straight to the middle, like so. Let it load. There we have it. Now I'm not going to make mine any smaller, I'm not going to scale it down, I'm going to keep it there because it looks fine there, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So once I've got that, I'm going to come up here, get my text. Um, tool and I'm going to be using the font Bang Gothic Bank Gothic sorry and you can use whatever font you want I'm going to use Bank Gothic if it is in the description a lot of people say how do I get fonts into After Effects so it's pretty simple once you've downloaded it you're going to unzip the font file and um, you'll have the file maybe some um, other documents like um, sometimes you get your license and agreement so um, make sure you read them first obviously and um, all you have to do is double click on the actual um, .txt file, so that would be your um, .txt file and um, then you'll hit install in the top right hand corner when you've opened it up and then um, that will be it, it will install then if you have After Effects up then you can close it and open it again and then you'll have a new um, um, font and so that will work in anything, that will work in stuff like Photoshop, Word, anything you really ha that you can use fonts in um, so that's a great way so I'm just going to click down here and I'm going to write 3D light scene because that's sort of what it is. Obviously you're not going to put that, you're going to put your YouTube name or whatever you want to be in the actual um, intro. Okay. Right. Oh, our computer's going slow. <laughs> Love it. Now um, we're obviously going to want to make these 3D for now because we are going to be using the um, camera tool and that. So if we come here we'll have the 3D um, thing here. Now you might have this um, layout all you have to do is hit F4 or you can come down to the toggle switches modes and that will change between them okay so you're gonna make sure you're on this one here with the 3D and the blur stuff like that so I'm gonna make my text 3D and my texture 3D and I'm also gonna lock the texture at the back here so I'm gonna come over here to the little lock sign and lock that now on the 3D light scene or wherever your text is probably your YouTube name I'm gonna hit this um, little drop down um, arrow here I'm gonna click that I'm going to go down to Material Options. Now, if that's not there, make sure you, it is 3D. Go down to Material Options, and then where it says Cast Shadows, I'm just going to click, and that's going to make the um, shadows appear later. Okay, so I'm just going to collapse them back down, like so. Right. So now we can um, go ahead and add our lights. So I'm going to go up here and go Layer New Camera. Sorry, no, Layer New Light. Sorry. Okay, now this is going to be my light one, so this is going to be on the right. So I'm just going to put right. Um, now I've kept it all the same, I've kept it the spot um, light type, I've got intensity at 100, cone angle 90 and the cone feather 50, make sure my colour's white and this is a crucial part, you need to make sure that your cast shadows is ticked otherwise you're not going to get any shadows, make sure it is ticked, um, ticked sorry, and choose OK. Right so as you can see now it's inserted this light and as you can see there's no shadow at the minute so I'm going to show you how to get that shadow in a sec, we're just going to set up our lights first okay so for this one it's going to be called right so I'm going to move it over here on the x-axis all the way to the right okay and see where this little pointer thing here is that's where the um, uh, the light is source is actually going towards so I'm going to click that I'm going to drag it over a bit and what we just want it to do is just get all of this in 
okay so maybe just a little bit less so we've got it all in like so okay now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go control D and that'll duplicate it and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the other side so I'm just going to rename this so I'm gonna hit F um, F2 is it now I don't even have, know how to rename it on this thing uh, well it doesn't matter um, you're just gonna duplicate it and you're gonna take it over to the left like so So I'm gonna move it over here so it's more likely in front and then I'm gonna get the little pointer file I'm gonna point it towards the um, left side of my text okay so I'm gonna move it over a little bit more as well like so alright there we are so now we have it um, sort of like this circle effect with the lights that's actually too much over so what now okay so it's got the whole text um, able to see okay now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add that um, shadow to the text so if we come up here to this um, tool here it's called the pan behind tool and we zoom in and we make sure we're clicked on our text okay as you can see this little things appeared here with all our axes if we click in the middle of that we're going to drag it all the way to the middle of our text so that for me that's my T okay and um, what that's going to do is where we can render out so we can add the shadow so once you've got that in the middle I'm going to come back to my selection tool and I'm going to click on the Z so the um, or the Z as you're American so um, click on the Z Z whatever on the blue one and you're going to click and drag your mouse down so that's going to scale it up and as you can see we've applied a shadow behind that like so so now we have this nice um, shadow so you've got one coming from this side and we've got one coming from this side okay so that is it now um, oh god what's happened here oops oh, I'll set it out after <laughs> so I'm just going to come back to my pointy tool um, I'll sort this out in a sec oh, I'll just put it on my other window um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a camera so I'm going to go to layer new camera okay and I'm going to make it 35 millimeter it doesn't really need to be anything it just needs to be um, just a camera and I'm going to hit OK now um, this is going to add our camera obviously to the bottom here now on my keyboard I'm going to press P and that's going to bring up my position okay and I'm going to stop watch that so I'm going to make sure I'm on zero seconds on the timeline here I'm going to click that it's going to input a keyframe and um, I'm going to come up here so this would obviously be on your little bar here I'm going to sort it out after and you're going to come up here and you're going to go to this here it might look like this little camera and it's going to be called Unified Camera Tool and I'm going to go down to my Orbit Tool okay now once we've got that as you can see we have this nice little like um, ooh, weird, this like weird um, cursor it's got the circle with a rotate with some little dots on the bottom and um, but what we're going to do is we're going to click down and hit holding shift we're going to move to our right so I'm going to be dragging my mouse to the left okay so it load and as you can see we've come over to the side here okay now I'm going to drag across my timeline to about five seconds now I'm going to click down again and I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to move my mouse to the right so that's going to move the file to the left okay so now it has gone to the left side so now we have a nice animation nice slow smooth animation going from one side of the um, you know one side to the other so that's pretty nice and um, that's all it for the tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys um, more After Effects tutorials coming up I'm going to be doing some um, video editing and um, stuff like that so expect more intros expect more stuff like that it's going to be pretty good so um, if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up if you need any help then personal message me to my channel because that's the easiest way I can um, reply to you and um, that is it guys so see ya